you know, I find the dance studio to be an interesting and fascinating place because I wasn't introduced to dance uh, in a dance studio, nor was the bulk of what I learned about dance and movement in a dance studio, but it's kind of become like a second home to me. Um, a lot of what I know about dance and what I learned about movement came from experience, just experiencing being in, in a community of people um, where dance was just a very vital and central part of our existence. And so we were always dancing. My family was always dancing. I was always the one cutting up at the barbecues and the parties and the family functions. And then we just kind of, we were self-taught and we were teachers. We taught ourselves and we taught others. And, you know, that's so African to me, you know? Um, and there's an actual African proverb that says, if you can talk, you can sing. If you can walk, you can dance. And that's kind of been one of the philosophies that has shaped the way that I teach and the way that I move. When you enter into my classroom or do a piece of my choreography, I want you to walk away having an experience with movement, not just learning steps. Um, and that's different, that's different. And, and, and I think, um, that's how I connect with movement and, and those that are moving in my class. I understand that. Or just whenever I'm teaching, I understand that technically you may not be the best dancer, but a lot about movement is what you feel and what you make those who are engaging in this experience with you, what you make them feel. So I like to, you know, I like for movement to feel good. Like I think about movement like you can eat it, you know what I mean? Like. You know, when you see people dance and move in a way that you're like, mm, that's so good. Like, it's like food, you know? Um, and so a lot of what I came up with was hip hop. I, I was a hip hop uh, dancer, and I guess that's what you called, you know, anything that wasn't in the studio hip hop, but now hip hop is all over the place. Um, and as I got older and started to experience more dance and people started pulling me into their studios to teach hip hop dance, I started seeing this broad world of dance. But what I was most intrigued and drawn to was West African dance and diasporic movement. So I developed a love and a passion for that. So here I was this kind of self-taught, self-trained hip hop dancer that learned from just being out there on the cusp of the culture and then coming into a kind of more a refined, a formal setting of a dance studio and realizing that in, in hip in a hip hop sense what people wanted was authenticity not this kind of jazz hop thing but what I was growing and developing a love for was just movement and what really drew me was West African dance so that has informed a lot of my movement vocabulary what is indigenous to hip hop as well as West African dance so a lot of what I do is centered in that so you have what I like to call kinetic storytelling. I like to provide experiences and translate those experiences in my movement to the audience so that audiences are not just watching something happen. They are experiencing, experiencing it with the mover. Um, and that that's what I think art is. That's what I think all art forms should be. It's not just something that is uh, for us to marvel at and feel like it's unattainable. It's something that we can experience and, and be inspired to, to believe that I can be a part of this uh, creation. I can be a part of this creating and producing. So that's what I like to do um, as I teach and as I create. Um, it's an experience. You know, you're hurting, like, what's your story in the city? You know what I mean? Pick a story, live that story in them four moves. Does that make sense? Are you angry? You have no job. You're looking for work. Your kid's hungry. You're pissed off. You've been oppressed. You're black. What's your story? Pick that. Be pain. Be joy. Be life got cut off. Be speak easy. And they're trying to break up the party after hours. And I'm trying to pay my rent. You know, they have rent parties. So think of yourself at, at a rent party. This is a rent party. You dancing, but you've also paid to come in there because you're trying to help your brother that live in the same apartment building as you pay his rent. That's what a rent party was. And they danced, and they charged people to come to their house because they were trying to pay the rent. And everybody in there was broke, but everybody who said such is gonna be on the streets if we don't come to this party and pay. Does that make sense? So you're there. The struggle is real. But we've always had this amazing way of dancing through the pain, right? So this story needs to be a dance through the pain. 
is living just enough for the city. You're barely making it, but you're alive. And the dance is the thing that keeps us alive, okay? So make the audience tasty, okay? Everything about you needs to be long and drawing them in. And every extension is an invitation for you to come to where I am. But your face needs to tell a story, not just I know these steps, okay? Pick your character and dance that way. Single mom, husband locked up, can't find work, okay? Dance through all of that, okay? Dance through all of that. And then don't lose sight of each other. We're all in this together. Oftentimes the story that's not told is the community behind the broken people, mm -hmm. okay? So all of these stories are individual stories, but it's like crash, they all connect, okay? So make your movement connect one to another. If you happen to look at one person, girl, we here together, girl, we broke, well, come on, baby. We're gonna be all right. We broke together, but we're gonna make it. You know what I mean? So let's do that, okay? Can we play it one more time?
Thanks a lot. Wow. New York. Just like I pictured it. Skyscrapers and everything. Hey, 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 brother. Come here, sick. Hey, you look hip, man. You want to make yourself five bucks, man? You look hip. Run across the street for me real quick, okay? Run across the street for me. 